I recently made the transition from Blender to Maya, and one of the many things that took some getting used to was how you navigate your viewport. In Blender, when you want to switch between front, side, top, and perspective camera views, you simply press 1, 3, 7, or 0 on the numpad. In Maya, there are two common ways. You either tap spacebar once to enter a quad view, then move your cursor over the view you desire and tap spacebar again, or you hold down spacebar, then hold down any mouse button while your cursor is over the central Maya box, drag to the view you want, and release. Both of these methods are perfectly fine, but if you like Blender's method of changing views more than Maya's, or simply wish to be able to change your view with just one key press instead of two, then allow me to demonstrate this setup I figured out for Maya. So, just like in Blender, I've got Maya configured, so when I press 1, 3, 7, or 0 on the numpad, I switch between front, side, top, and perspective views. Note that the zoom and centering reset each time I change the view, which is not how it works in Blender, but overall I find this setup similar enough that I feel very comfortable using it. I should mention that my particular setup only works as long as I'm looking through panel 4, which, in the quad view, is the panel in the top right corner. I chose this panel because it's the one you're looking through by default when you first boot up Maya. In order to set up your own copy of Maya to behave this way, go to Windows, Settings Preferences, and click on Hotkey Editor. Click the drop-down menu next to Edit Hotkeys for and select Custom Scripts. On the right-hand side, click the Runtime Command Editor tab. We are going to make a few simple new scripts and tie them to hotkeys of our choice. Click the New button to create a new script. Name it something like Persp View or whatever makes sense to you, and give it a description if you like. Make sure that under language you have Mel selected. Now, in this large text box, we are going to write two commands. These are case sensitive, so make sure you type exactly what I type. Alternatively, you can copy paste from the description in this video where I will have all of these commands. So, we type look through model panel persp model panel 4 and end with a semicolon. Press enter to go to the next line, then type go to default view, and again, end with a semicolon. Then go to the bottom right and click save runtime command. You should then see it pop up on the left. And we're done with our first script. I'll describe what these two commands do at the end of the video in case you're curious. So, again, click new, name this script to front view or whatever you want, select mel, and put in exactly the same thing as the first script, except we want to replace the word persp with front. We'll repeat this process two more times using the keywords side and top for their respective scripts. Now that we have our four scripts, it's time to bind them to hotkeys. In order to do this, simply click on the scripts and press the key you want to bind it to. Obviously, I bound mine to the hotkeys I mentioned earlier that are used in Blender, numpad 1 for front, numpad 3 for side, numpad 7 for top, and numpad 0 for perspective, but you can bind them to whatever you like. However, if you choose to bind them to the same keys as me, bear in mind that two of these keys are already taken by default in Maya. The first is numpad 0, otherwise known as insert. If you want to change the pivot point for an object, then by default you can either use the hotkey D or insert, so if you're fine just using D for that, then replacing this one is no big deal. The second is numpad 3, otherwise known as page down, and by default this is used to lower the smoothing level. So it's your call how you want to handle that. And of course, if you're using the numpad, make sure numlock is off, otherwise you'll end up binding these scripts to the actual numbers 1, 3, 7, and 0, and most of those are pretty important hotkeys by default. Once you've finished choosing all your hotkeys, click save at the bottom and you're done. You should now have a configuration that allows you to manipulate your Maya viewport much like you would in Blender. Now if you're curious, I'm going to explain what it is our scripts are basically doing. The first line tells us to take model panel 4 and switch it to a perspective view. See, the front, side, top, and perspective views are all cameras, and each panel has simply basically been given a camera to look through. Each viewing panel has a hidden number tied to it, and the top right panel is model panel 4. This means as long as we are looking through model panel 4, we'll get the Blender-like behavior we expect. Don't worry though, if you accidentally look through the wrong panel and press these hotkeys, the worst that'll happen is you might reset that panel's view to what it's supposed to be anyway. Now to explain the next line. 
Go to default view is simply telling the camera we're looking through to reset itself to where it normally sits. If I'm in quad view and I tumble around the top view camera, that actually means that specific camera will remain tumbled around until I decide to reset it. In Blender, I often like to tumble around my view and then use these shortcuts to snap me back to a straight on view, so resetting the camera to its default position like this is necessary. Anyway, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, and thanks for watching. Stay classy.